Not to average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome back to Not to Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. I'm Mac. And I'm Pepper. And for today's Stone Timber video, we're looking at the expansion so far to Wingspan. So the wing expansions, as I'd <laughs> like to call them, ever since I heard someone say that, <laughs> I think probably before the first one even came out. Uh, that's just what I've referred to them as ever since. Can't take credit for it, huh? No, I can go on to call tapestry ones tap expansions as well. I have. Uh, that is true. <laughs> started a trend. <laughs> yes, so whoever did that, uh, you're kind of a household word guy now. <laughs> well, thanks a or lot, girl. guy, if or you're girl. watching this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, so far there have been two expansions as of this point. Uh, third one has been announced. Along um, with a. It's big coming box. in the big box, right? I think the first printing of the big box is going to have it in there or the something like that. Nesting box. Or nesting yeah. box. Um, to supposedly hold all future Wingspan content. Yes. Um, yes. So, Including neoprene mats, ooh. which yes. we have here. Yes, we got the neoprene mats. We're which, bougie. <laughs> but yeah, I think the next one will be um, Asia. But so far, we've had the first expansion, which was Wingspan uh, Europe. Yep. Uh, and then the second one was Wingspan Oceania. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, two, two so far. Um, I, I think I kind of Oceania. Might... Oceania. Oceania. Okay. <laughs> I th I, Oceania. I was pretty confident. I think in the first one being Europe before they had announced it, mm, uh, just yeah. because he's so in tune. Well, no, I, I just think uh, outside of maybe the United States, I think Europe probably has the biggest maybe board game. Um, oh yeah, population presence. Um, so that's why I was guessing that that would be the. I first thought one. he was going to say bird presence, <laughs> so, and I was well, like, "They're the biggest oh. birders <laughs> outside of the people in America." Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then I, I don't know if I would have guessed Oceania would have been next. Um, but yeah. I, I think this was about the time too that, and I don't know if it had been determined beforehand or not, but that was, I think they were having a lot of like the bushfires or stuff in oh. um, Australia and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think they donated some stuff to that um, so that's good as well that I don't know if it was I can't remember if it was actually already planned or if it because of that yeah. was the next one but yeah so we'll talk about the ones that are that have happened so far but supposedly there's hopes to do one for each continent so yeah, yeah. and then possibly promos because I think in the big box there were the dividers and there's actually a promo <laughs> divider so uh, I don't believe I know of any at the big moment bird promo. So, a big bird Sesame Street promo. Um, yeah, so uh, Wingspan Europe expansion. Mm -hmm. um, added kind of more or less, I think, the same more to Wingspan. So, like, if you really like the base game of Wingspan, uh, it added more cards, so more birds um, that yep. were more um, so European birds. Yep. Uh, were, there new, um, were there new abilities for those birds? There was uh, one new ability, I yeah. believe. I, I, I mean, I, well, abilities. There might have there been some been, new abilities, but, but like a kind new of the big kind thing. of effect was these round end benefits. Like mm -hmm. This one says round end. Discard up to five uh, food from your supply for each. Tuck one card from the deck behind this bird. Mm -hmm. um, where otherwise there were no nothing to do between rounds other than just kind of scorely mm -hmm. objectives this adds a little more a little more income and ways to get points mm -hmm. um but other than that um i'm not sure exactly how many of those are in um mm -hmm. yeah the I, expansion yeah i don't remember how many of those they had exactly um mm -hmm. but, but yeah that's where they introduced it feels very much just like a bunch of more birds mm -hmm. uh, which and with both the expansions it's pretty neat that they kind of kept the percentages, um, mm -hmm. like they can have for goals in the base game, like get this many of uh, birds with this nest, and it showed like a percentage on of how mm -hmm. many cards were actually in the deck, and they've actually kept those percentages as close as possible mm -hmm. um, with these mm -hmm. tons of new birds added, which is really cool. Right, yeah, and, and kind of with that, they I think they added with that one some more of the round and oh, yep. goal tokens, yep. along with some more personal gold cards as well um, yes. and uh, of course some purple eggs <laughs> yes um, so yeah that added that as well um, but yeah it's I would say it's more of an expansion of just more of the 
more of the same, mm-hmm. but yeah, yeah. Yep. some different, some different. Po- I I can't remember exactly, but I'm sure there were some different powered birds as well that weren't in there. Yeah. I can't remember if the uh, count as two spaces in a uh, zone. Oh yeah, I think that was was this. Yep. Was it introducing that one? Yep. Oh, yeah, I couldn't remember if that was, but I'm sure there were some other ones as well. But yeah, I would say the biggest thing was kind of those uh, round yep. end um, birds. It's kind of the yeah. biggest new thing that was introduced there. Um, but yeah, I, I guess, what were your thoughts of that expansion? Mac? I thought it was good. Like, we kind of touched on it, it just added more already to the base game. So, um, yeah, just thought it was, you know, more cards, more variability in what you can get, and just great, yeah. I, You know, the base of Wingspan is obviously hugely popular and it is in our household too so um yeah i was just really glad to have new birds to look at not that i've seen them all anyway but you know Mm -hmm. it's fun yeah and i would say for for you you probably in the first place aren't the biggest person into expansions yeah um because you kind of i think once you like a game you kind of you don't really you don't really care if it changes too much um yeah um, but yeah i think that one at least is not doing anything it's a pretty crazy. safe expansion yeah. i mm-hmm. would say and i think that's probably kind of the ones that you would prefer <laughs> versus yes. other ones that may mix things up that a little is, bit that is true that is true yeah so yeah i'd say that that one is a solid expansion if you're just looking for more content yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. wingspan content uh but then we get to wingspan oceania uh, which did a little bit more I would yeah. say there there was some more of that same kind of thing where yeah. a, um, lot, a lot of new birds and mm-hmm. um, and it also added a new effect. This is kind of handled round end benefits. This gives you game end benefits. So this one game end cachet up to five food from your supply on this bird. It's actually very similar to the other one. <laughs> red turning food into points, but um, only once. That one you yes. could do potent. This one you could potentially yeah. do like yes. four times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's, I know there's been a few games where I've ended up with food left over at the end, and mm-hmm. I think, I'm guessing a lot of the game and uh, abilities kind of help you kind of take care of that mm-hmm. a little bit. Kind of, yeah, do the other one. Um, game and lay one egg on each of your birds with a, oh. a certain type of nest, including this one. So, I mean, that could be so, really big. Huge. Yeah, yeah. And those can kind of give you a little bit of a direction as yes. well for what to do. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I always like things like that where um, you might have that in your starting hand and then maybe another bird or two with maybe that same yeah, nest. Yeah. And that might also possibly, if you're lucky, be one of the goals yeah. um, uh, during one of the rounds where have the most bird uh, with an egg in that type of nest or something like that. Yeah. Um, so that could be really get you going on a certain path. Um, yeah. But yeah, so added more of those birds, added a new egg as well. Uh, the yellow egg, mm-hmm. yes. Um, so, if you like, if you like the different colored eggs, uh, both of these are giving you some some nice flashy colors. They're beautiful, nice. I love the purple eggs. Yeah, yeah. but that's not all it added. <laughs> that is not all it added. It also added um, not only a new resource of nectar, um, which is kind of a wild resource, but it also added a whole new game board. Yes, <laughs> that's why this neoprene mat is now double sided. Yes. Um, and we, I think, orig- I don't know if the original ones had both sides, but uh, mm-hmm. we did get yeah. the one that has, and maybe maybe they always did, I don't remember exactly, but we did get the double-sided one, so that that is nice. But, um, yeah, this one, I think with the nectar and this the way the map mat is laid out, it kind of really helps you get things going a lot quicker. Yeah. Uh, and you can get a lot more birds played, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because, um, yeah, you can use your nectar and um, to kind of count for other resources and then when you're spending those um, nectar you're also getting some um, on the sides it's kind of a little added on it's nectar yeah, spent in certain like areas whoever spent the most nectar in an area um, ends up getting yeah. some bonus points at the end of the game um, that i could take or leave that but um it, it is a nice little interesting yeah. thing a little yeah. extra thing to go for as well um but uh, I feel like the uh, actual game board, I could see you liking or not liking it. Because um, it is quite different. Yes, it feels like they, the so they kind of get are... better and better as you go. It feels like they took all of them and shifted them over a little bit. So mm-hmm. it's just a little more powerful, a 
a little quicker. And like you said, that kind of speeds things up and <laughs> like how much food you're able to get. Um, mm -hmm. It uh, feels like the games have been much higher scoring mm -hmm. consistently versus the base game wingspan, which mm -hmm. could be from that or from possible new bird abilities. Right. Um, but yeah, it's I I like the new mat. It hasn't mm -hmm. rubbed me the wrong way. But yeah, I could see I could see how it could. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I feel the same way. I really like I like the option of having the mat, um, yeah. but I. I I can definitely see playing with either one. I yeah. think they're equally as good. Um, but yeah, I if I'm feeling like oh, I want to try to be able to do a little bit more, um, I definitely don't mind playing with the nectar and this side of the mat just to yeah. um, maybe go for a little bit of a higher score, maybe do some a little bit more crazy things. And uh, you can also play. I think I think you could play. I don't I'm trying to think if you could play this side without the nectar. Um, Not you could sure. play with the new birds without the nectar. Um, you just kind of, if yeah. they have a nectar cost, you can kind of just yeah. exclude them. And it also I don't think that's new too many. dice with the nectar oh, printed right. on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Could this one come yeah. with some goal cards too then? I believe that one yeah. came with some new goals, uh, round end, and um, your own personal goals as well. Yeah. Um, I do like though the fact that even though the nectar is a wild resource, um, you lose them yeah, if you don't spend them at the end of the round, round. round. That way it's not like you can just early on maybe play something because like on this side after you play your first uh, bird in the forest you're already able to get two food yeah. per time. And you could also spend a food to reroll dice yes. prior to taking it too. Which so that was not a, a possibility right. before. Um, yeah, I, I, that's one of the big things too is um, it allows you to do that with a couple of things and it also allows you to um, wipe the three cards uh, mm -hmm. that are available to you for the bird types uh, which is a nice way of cycling yeah. those i think that was i could see that being one of those things um, that maybe with just the base game and stuff uh, could get to be um, a thing that you may not like as much yeah because you're yeah. like hey, no one no one wants those birds, and then you're just all digging just from the deck randomly. Yeah. Or, like, if you're the only one trying to get new food, <laughs> and you've got to go through all these dice, because yeah. you just know if you want something, it's not going to be there, but almost every other thing is going to be there, so it's not even like, oh, I can take one, yeah. and then since they're all the same, I can re-roll them. i got to take yeah. this one, take this one, and then it just takes a bunch of rounds. But here, uh, you've got that option to yeah. immediately try to swipe them, which I really like. Um, that's almost something I wish that could be implemented yeah. on the other side, but uh, I think that's one of the very solid things from this side, for sure. I really mm -hmm. like that part. Hmm. What did you think? Yeah, I mean... I, I... This is definitely one of those game more game-changing <laughs> than uh, the more <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, I don't know that I've played with the expansion, this one, very much. Okay. Honestly, I don't think I've played it more than like five times um just yeah just because we have so many games and stuff so mm -hmm. I would say that you you're right um I think the things they shifted over definitely help you have a faster game um to the devil's advocate side of me it's kind of like well that was kind of a good equalizer in the game is if you couldn't get your food you are humbled by the bird feeder and it could slow <laughs> an opponent down who's quicker than you are but you know vice versa that could also happen to you so you know right. take that with for what it is um but yes i do think it allows you to build quicker to scale quicker to have a higher score um the nectar i am 50 50 on i like it because you know you can use it yeah for anything yeah. but at the same time I'm kind of like, it's a little bit distracting because I'm like, I got it. I'm worried because he's got a stack of nectar this big over here. And I'm like, I don't even have one. And so then you're like a little panicky about it. But, um, you know, it's, it's good. And it's, you know, it's just something else, another factor into the game that you have to think about with scoring. So, mm -hmm. you know, not necessarily a bad thing or anything. It's just adjusting your thinking process. Uh, when you're choosing food or when you're taking whatever, mm, it's like, yep. how if I take this, how am I going to utilize it in this round, knowing that I have 
this many turns because yep. you know you have a finite ability um, to do things and so you have to kind of really really be aware of that and then just making sure you're using it to like the full potential that you can and not wasting it so yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah i think that nectar is really nice i think the fact that it does score at the end just adds a little a little too much <laughs> to where i'm pretty split on which map i prefer mm -hmm. um, even though i get why it does because otherwise you just choose the resource that you actually need if they're both out there mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. the wild because it will go away right um, right but it just adds just like you said you're looking over and someone else has got a ton yeah. there and it's just like ah that's like are the four i have stacked down here gonna be enough for him he's got six up there like it's just it's kind of i mean you're already thinking of a lot of comparisons uh -huh. with the round end goals and this one adds another which I don't think is that interesting. Mm. Just like mm -hmm. whoever has more stack there versus <laughs> what I want to be thinking about is how do I play these types of birds and um, different things like that. Yeah. Um, but I do still really like the addition of a wild resource, which, mm -hmm. um, and just the whole the whole map, like we said, just the benefits yeah. are better and better, and even mm -hmm. a bit shocking and mind blowing. I didn't think they would <laughs> mm -hmm. introduce a whole new mat in the second expansion. No, I did not either. I um, would not and not that. necessarily even like a replacement mat. It's just kind of another one that you can do. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh. Yeah. I, I would agree oh, mm -hmm. with all of that. Because, yeah. Uh, I really like what the Nectar allows you to do. Um, but and it's probably our uh, it's yeah. probably our own fault because we got upgraded bits so we have like 3d printed resources and so the nectar stacks on top Very of each nicely. other and so like if you have just even four the stack is like already an <laughs> right. inch high and so i yeah. feel like that probably leads to more of my anxiety yeah. than like if we just had the little discs <laughs> stacked i mean there's still a stack there but it's yeah. not like this big at the end because i've right. seen games where it's like <laughs> i've got eight stacked <laughs> I think the good thing too, though, is um, it, it's the same amount of points no matter how many you have. So. Yeah, yeah. So even if you're looking over there and Thank someone God has, it's not a one for one. has 10 over there, it's not like all of a sudden, well, now they're scoring 10 points to my whatever. Yeah. yeah. So that, yeah. that part's nice, at least, too, that it's yeah. capped. And yeah. if someone's ahead, then you can, if you're going to spend your nectar on something, you can maybe focus on using one of the other ones to try to mm -hmm. win that zone or yeah. something. Yeah. No. Um, but, but yeah. I don't think it's like so like intrusive on the game that it's like shifts the whole game, but it is just another piece to think about. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Overall, um, I think they're both good expansions. Mm -hmm. I think we can all say um, mm -hmm. I prefer Oceania. Um, mm -hmm. It changes the game quite a bit, um, but again, doesn't have to. You don't have to use this side of the mat. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to use the nectar. Um, mm -hmm. It does add a lot of good birds. Um, this one. Initially, when we first played this one, I was probably a little disappointed, just because mm -hmm. it did feel like a very safe expansion, just mm -hmm. adding a couple effects, or round end, and possibly playing a bird that counts as two, which is I'm not... I'm sure there are some other things, yeah, too, but... Yeah, and there aren't more, but um, I just remember not feeling very blown away by it, mm -hmm. um, and that's not what it was going for, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. just trying to give you more stuff. Um, which is good, but um, this one definitely did blow me away. <laughs> I think it'll be really interesting to see what they do with future expansions because yeah. I think we touch on this in one of our other videos about Wingspan, but there's only so many things you can do within, within Wingspan. So You think. You think. You know? So, it, but that's what it currently is, and so it's going to be more shifts, more shifts of the game if, if that's to reach its final evolution is i guess yeah. what i'm saying because mm -hmm. the there's only so much you can you can play with so are you ready for my hope and desire one day the big year <laughs> the legacy links fan where you get like a whole listing of having to see every bird <laughs> over however many plays as a true birder <laughs> I, you have to do it by continent be... though Huh? You have to do it by continent. Oh, I figured you, you could have like back some. And forth? Well, I figured you could have some campaign where yes, you're just using kind of the one continent's card, oh. and then in the next game you're using maybe another just that deck of cards. So you're kind of more likely to see, or you know, kind of what you're going to see there. Maybe some you could 
mix two decks together then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see if that's <laughs> ever a thing. I like <laughs> it. Year. I like the idea, but I don't, I don't know that it would ever. I'm actually... sure we could print off our own sheets and <laughs> do it if you really want to try it. That's true. We could do it and see how many games it takes for one of us to see all the birds. <laughs> But we need all of them first. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, Elizabeth, get to work. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I, I'm i really excited for yeah. the future expansions. Uh, and you just really got to appreciate the amount of work that they put into it. I think yeah. you had said, like, that Both Elizabeth has, like, that huge spreadsheet of percentages <laughs> to keep the game, like, equitable. Keep all those and, pretty much the same. Yeah, with the birds, and so I just, you gotta love the amount of effort that they're putting into it, because it's right. not only beautiful, but it plays so well, too, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, also, yeah, matching up. I, I know she doesn't like to either, like, do the nest like wrong either just to put them on birds oh. and stuff so trying to find the right birds and the that bird too facts is pretty, yeah yeah the bird facts are awesome it's an all in it's all yeah. encompassing game you learn something <laughs> you can look at something pretty true you can exercise your mind <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess i didn't really say but i would recommend or i would probably if i was getting one of the two i would get this one as well um but because yeah i think it adds a very similar amount of stuff as this one Plus the new mat and nectar. Yeah. Yep. Um, I probably would go with with this one, mm -hmm. just because that's my vibe. Yeah. But and the purple eggs. Ah. Uh, purple eggs. They're so pretty. Yeah. I, I guess at the end of the day, I would get both, but yeah, this would be the wouldn't. current one that I would recommend. But I'm hopeful. We'll see. Um, it's been two years now. I, I think originally Jamie was hopeful that it'd be kind of one every single year, but now it's been two years, so she's had some time. Well, we did have a two-year pandemic, she's been working pandemic, on other games too. so... That's true. She's, been, she's working on other games, too. I think there was, uh, what was it, the Fox experiment? That was pretty oh, yeah. interesting. So I'm hoping to see what that one's like. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> but yes, that's nothing to do with Wingspan. <laughs> but we look forward, well, most of us look forward to more expansion. I <laughs> I, we, we all know you, there's always a level of anxiety when right, they mess with yeah. something i love right you know right yeah, so yeah i'll be a good are you sport looking i guess it. are you looking forward to the big box to store everything yes i so am i was yeah. these poor neoprene maps now <laughs> they're just kind of sitting they just out currently. don't have a home for yeah. us they don't quite well they need to they go would home. fit in the main box if we folded them or something but we're not folding them right um, so, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that for sure. Yeah, um, me too. But also looking forward to the Asia. But, yeah, that's the two Wingspan expansions that are out currently. Um, if you want to see our other content on Wingspan or other Stonemeyer content, check out our other videos from this month. Um, but otherwise, we hope to see you on the next one. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on that content and those eggs.